check and get it right back what's going on guys this is your boy easy tv bringing you guys another division 2 video today i have another smg video um i know i haven't uploaded a build in a minute just been working on some things uh working on one shot secret mind builds um and different stuff like that but i wanted to bring you guys this smg build i'm pretty sure somebody already used this gun so whoever used it and made a build out of it kudos but i'm gonna take it further with this gun and with this build so today the smg build that i am bringing you guys it's like a portable lmg i'm not even gonna lie this thing is filthy i do have gameplay uh before i even get into the build guys please hit that like button hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new hit the notification button i will highly appreciate it all right so without further ado here's the build all right so it's built around the t821 uh my t821 as you guys can see is at 27k base all right to not too far off from a well it's on the same par as an lmg uh but it's not too far off as a lm with the um a lmg that has unhinged on it it's not too far off at all give me about maybe three thousand more damage not too far off from an unhinged lmg uh build all right so we had 605 on the rpm i am using a longer mag on this build i'm running optimus allegro wascally and then there's all the mods for that now you can go with a shorter mod uh um extended nine millimeter if you want to get to that damage quicker but i tend to find myself running out of bullets too fast um and i also didn't want to make a cheese way to run this build like anybody can run the strain berserk uh clutch bill and you know massacre anything right now in this matter with any smg so i want to do something totally different all right so my mass is a dnh mass i'm running a two piece that has skill power and cooldown reduction that has spotter on it i also want to use spotter because i want to use the pulse for the 10 percent damage i am going to show you guys how you can get 37k damage out of this build and that's without spotter all right so then uh oh man what happened oh all right my game froze so the chest piece is a soko chest piece you could go with a two-piece soko if you want to i just went one with the smg damage it got critical hit damage bonus armor health and uh weapon damage i would probably want um weapon damage uh skill power bonus armor and health or something like that the critical hit damage really doesn't matter because it is not a crit build it's actually a weapon damage build um anybody can make a crit build and like i said you can just run strain berserk and clutch and do a whole bunch of crit chance and smack anything all right so then that has a smg mod on it four percent smg mod and 1.5 weapon damage mod and then the holster like i said it's a dnh it has skill power on it that has devastating on it so you will want devastating if you want weapon damage if you don't want to go with weapon damage by any means go with crits if you want to but it's either you go with weapon damage or you go with crits you go anything you kind of not valuable for pvp all right and then that has a skill power mod on it the backpack is a gilla give me that five percent total armor it has fourteen thousand bonus armor on it cooldown reduction and skill power that's what i actually wanted on here i wanted a little bit more uh scale power but it's fine the way it is that has restored uh restorative and on the ropes um i would get if you could get vital or harden i don't believe you can get hardened but maybe you can get hardened but vital i would go with vital to get like more health or something like that and then on the ropes weapon damage is increased by 25 percent while all skills are on cooldown all right i'm gonna show you guys man this this gun hits hard when you can get on the ropes to proc with optimus man it's ridiculous all right so then i have a bonus armor mod and then i have uh offensive system firearms mod with weapon damage smg damage and assault rifle damage i'm not using the assault rifle but it's really for the smg damage and the weapon da uh weapon damage and then the gloves i'm running a murakami you can run whatever you want to but the murakami had what i needed i kind of wanted smg and skill power or uh cooldown reduction but it is what it is i got the health 
And I got devastating as well on the gloves. Now people are going to say, hey, you could have used compensated. I could have used compensated, easily could use compensated. But is it worth me losing my mods? The mods that I have, they give me three, four percent weapon damage and SMG damage versus having compensated. Now, I did the calculations with this build, my build exactly. And the only thing that I see is that with compensated, you will only gain like 1.5 more damage by, by, you know, I have to take away all my offensive mods, run this, and then I lose my, my firearm mods, and then I will use compensated because I am under, I'm like 19.5 on critical hit chance, so compensated would work for that. Um, but 1.5 is no big difference, so I just left it as is, and I went with, you know, devastating on the gloves or whatever. You can do this if you want to. If you don't want to, by any means, you don't have to. All right. Um, and then uh, that doesn't have a mod. Doesn't doesn't come with a mod. I'm sorry. Then the knee pads, they don't have a mod on it because if I go over five, then I won't be able to use. Um, I believe it's Optimus, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure. I think if I go over five, I can't use Optimus. Yeah, I can't use Optimus if you go over five. So that's why you don't see a mod there. Knee pads is Providence knee pads. You do not have to go with Providence knee pads. The only reason why I want Providence knee pads is because they do have skill power and they have skill duration on it. I kind of wanted my post to last a little bit longer. So I went with those two. You can use whatever you want to. You don't have to actually go with this right here you don't have to use these knee pads you can use whatever you want to and like i said that does not have a mod on it um the stuff i'm using i'm using the chem launcher i kind of went down from scale power i was around like 2000 plus and i can use double the heels but now i'm only able to use duration in one heel for the chem launcher and then the post you guys knew i had double cooldown reduction so it can come back faster but then i have a radius and cooldown reduction because i don't have that 1800 1900 skill power to get more cooldown reduction so that's why i went with that all right and then uh let me show you guys the stats so you have everything is unlocked everything is all good optimus allegro waskly everything um and then right here you see i have 21.5 percent on the crit chance and i said that you can use compensated the only reason why i said that is because i changed the mod out so Right here, when you use the demolitionist, which I am using the demolitionist, when you come here, you can turn that to a five right there. And then what happens is you go back. I'm sorry. You go back to the stats and then you'll see it's at 19.5. And that will allow you to use compensated. As long as you're at 19.5 and you're not at 20%, you can use compensated if you want to. All right. So. The base gun basically is 2,700, uh, 27,000 damage. You don't have a lot of crit chance. You don't have a lot of crit da uh, damage. You don't have a lot of headshot damage. Uh, you see all the weapon damage bonus. The SMG is at 30, uh, 37%. And then you guys see everything else here. Now to get to where you guys wanted to see this. All right. So we're going to make this as much as possible, as fast as possible. All right. So. I already calculated from 52 bullets to the 31 bullets that they give you from the extended mag. You're only gaining from uh from Optimus. You're only gaining 80 damage. So from that 31 to 52, you're only gaining 80 damage. All right. So I usually go with uh I usually go with. Let me see right here i will go with reload speed so i can reload faster so what happens is it's 32 bullets what happens is the 32 bullets can output the damage faster for optimus than the 52 bullets and it's only 80 uh 80 uh not 80 percent but 80 uh number damage so what happens is if you go with 52 20 more bullets i only give you 80 more damage and that's nothing. So you either have this choice. One, you have more bullets to try to chop somebody down, but it takes longer to get to that maximum damage output. Or two, you start off with 20 bullets less. You get that maximum uh, damage 
uh, faster, but you don't have any as many bullets. You can choose in between. I use in between. It don't really matter. Just is it just depends on how fast you can melt somebody down or anything like that. And then when you have the reload speed too, when you shoot out those thirty two bullets, you reload so fast you got the thirty two again. All right. So I'm gonna just show you guys what kind of damage I'm putting out. I don't even have to shoot these, but I just want you guys to see the numbers on what I'm putting out. All right. So we're gonna get down to one bullet. One bullet. All right, we had one bullet. You guys see one bullet. All right. So now, as you guys can see, that my stats is at basically 32,000. 32,000 weapon damage. That's with only Optimus in a short clip. That's not a post. That's not uh, on the ropes. That's not any of that. All right. So I'm going to have, you can't see, Cray and them told me that you can't see your numbers. When you drop in, like when you're like using the on the ropes and you're shooting the dummies and stuff like that. So they told me I had to actually shoot the dummies. I'm going to show you guys how much damage you can get when you have Optimus and on the ropes propped. All right. So the first thing I would do, as, I, as you guys know, I will use my post first because that post, that spotter for the post gives you 10 percent damage. So I will always have some type of damage increase. And uh, that's going to go on cooldown. If you guys don't know, all you have to do is drop one cam launcher and on the ropes proc. You see it just proc. But I'm going to just drop two just in case so it can stay down longer. All right. So you have to shoot a target to see the damage. All right. So that's 30, 26. Let's see if we can get something that's closer so you guys can see. All right. All right. So. They're both on cooldown. I'm going to show you guys. Watch this. This damage is crazy. This is just from, you know, the end of the clip when you use an Optimus. Almost 37 damage to the body. Weapon damage. So as you guys can see, the more you shoot, it goes up 31, 31. We're going to do another cooldown. 32 32 it just it climbs it climbs up and up and up and up and up <clears throat> it's ridiculous so the max you can get out of this is 37k uh damage when you get to the end of the clip for optimus so once again i'm gonna show you guys again we're gonna use the pulse you can use the pulse easily and that gives you almost 30k right there that's just from the pulse alone so the the post is on cooldown. We're gonna drop two Kims. 43 crits. Alright. And then see. We're gonna get to the end of the clip. I'm gonna do that one bullet. You guys are gonna see. It's gonna be at 30, like basically 37. Boom. That's ridiculous. You shred anything with this build. And you can use it for PvE. PVP, however you want to do it, but it actually shreds. I actually like this build a lot, man. Um, but for the Occupy DZ, for the Occupy DZ, this is like one of the craziest builds I've seen for the Occupy. This damn thing shreds. As you guys seen in the beginning clip with Cray, I just did it like use his body for a second. When Berserk kick in, and I didn't even show you guys. When Berserk's uh, Berserk kick in with this and Optimus and this gun and you got on the ropes. Oh, my God. The damage output is ridiculous. So th for this to be like, you know, a not damage to elites build is pretty decent. But I hope you guys enjoy the build video. I do have gameplay coming up. I appreciate you guys stopping by and I'm out.
boost is being taken by allies. Allies have acquired the boost. Swan for the friendlies. The enemy just pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> 